Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on status scratch regarding most lucrative products, both using Python as well as MySQL, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy. This question has been asked in Meta or Facebook interviews, and it's a great question if you're preparing for data engineer, data scientist, BI analyst, or data analyst roles. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, you have been asked to find the five most lucrative products in terms of total revenue for the first half of 2022, that is from January to June inclusive. Output their IDs and the total revenue. So five most lucrative based on revenue, right? So we are given a data frame called online orders and our expected output is a pandas data frame with two columns, product ID and the total or the revenue basically, right? And it should be sorted in decreasing manner and you need only the top five. Okay, let's preview the data frame online order. So it has various columns, product ID, promotion ID, cost in dollars, your customer ID, date, and unit sold, right? So basically how will you get revenue of each of these? So you just multiply the cost in dollars into the number of units sold, right? And that is going to give you the revenue of each of these sale, right? And then, uh, you know, at the end, you just sum it up by uh, the product ID. Okay, so the first thing that we should do is let's make a new column called revenue, which is basically a multiplication of cost in dollars and units sold. Okay, so let's do that. So let's call the column as revenue, which is equal to uh, online orders, right? Online orders, take the column cost in dollars, right? Cost in dollars and multiply it by online orders uh column called units sold right and let's see what do we have here online orders uh, let me run this okay so now you have uh, the revenue in basically this is in dollars so cost in dollars multiplied by units sold now once we have this then there is a condition that we need to meet which is uh that it should be only uh the first six months or the first half of 2022 Right, so we need to perform a Boolean indexing. So what we can do is let's store this in a data frame called DF. So basically what we need to do is online orders and then perform a Boolean indexing. So firstly, the year of this column date should belong to 2022 and the month should be less than or equal to six because if the month is less than or equal to six, which means it can be one, two, three, four, five or six, right? So online orders, right online orders and the column called date and since this column's uh, data type is date time right you so you can directly employ the dot dt so date time and take the year part of it and which should be equal to equal to 2022 right and this is one of the condition we also need to make sure that it belongs only to the first half of 2022 and not the entire 2022 right so this is the first thing and then Again, and another thing should also be true. So, and, and then let's do another thing. In this case, let me just copy it here, right? Because don't need to write the entire thing. We just need to change year to month, right? So this should equal to month, which is basically less than or equal to six, right? So this will ensure that we are only considering the first half of 2022. Let me uh, go ahead and run this. Let's see, what do we have? So after performing Boolean indexing, if you look at it, so every data which will be in the first half of 2022, right? So now once we have this, then we are, you know, at the required rows that we need to consider, right? Then we can just go ahead and group by the product ID and then take the revenue column and sum it up, right? So dot group by group by the product ID and then take the revenue column and then perform a sum. And since we grouped by product ID to make sure that we have that in our output because we need that in our output, right? So we need to do reset index, right? Let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we have. So right now we have product IDs and the various revenues. Now we need to sort this in decreasing manner and only keep the top five. So the way to sort is using sort values then it will be asking okay by which column are we sorting so revenue and it should be in descending manner right so ascending is equal to false 
let me go ahead and run this again so now this is sorted in ascending or descending order right but we only need to keep the top five so we can just go ahead and do the dot head and by default it takes five but like it's okay if you just you know mention it explicitly here so dot head five so if i run this okay so now you have the top five by revenue let me go ahead and submit it so pass all the test cases so yeah everything is green and this is how we do it now let's look at how the corresponding code looks like in mysql okay so if you look at the same question uh, we are given a table online orders expected output is same as well and if you preview the table it also has the same columns rows and all the values right okay so in this case again we need to make sure that okay from this online orders we are only considering those rows where year of the date column is equal to right is equal to 2022 and month of the date column is between one and six right and between also includes whatever values you are giving it right so it should it will you know include the top six or the first six months of 2022 okay so once you have this and made sure that okay we are only considering those rows let me run this then okay if you look at it right so everything is uh, the first half of 2022 then what we can do is we can just simply go ahead and group by the product id right so we can go ahead and write group by product id right and then uh, return product id and then to calculate the revenue we can just go ahead and do cost in dollars right cost in dollars multiplied by units sold right units sold and when you multiply that since you are grouping by product id you need to basically calculate the sum of the entire thing right so for every product id what is the total revenue right and let's alias this as revenue because that is what we require in our output right revenue and then order by right so order by revenue in decreasing manner and since we are only required to keep the top five of it so we do limit five let me go ahead and run this okay so now you have uh, the output which is the same as expected output right let me go ahead and submit it so it's pass all the test cases so yeah everything is green and this is how we do it so not a very difficult question all we had to do was you know we made sure that okay wherever your year is 2022 and month belongs to the first six months inclusive we uh, made sure that we group by product id then calculate the revenue as cost in dollars multiplied by units sold and then ordered them by revenue in decreasing manner and just kept the top five so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video